Clinical Notes. I'm going to show you how to type a clinical note using our global templates and how to save that as your favorite. In the upper left hand corner there's an icon that looks like a white piece of paper with a yellow sunspot on it. That is our Add Clinical Note icon. So if I click on that, it will open up my clinical note. And the first thing that I need to do is up in the left hand corner tell the computer what type of note I'm documenting today. We have six clinical notes today for you. A consult report, a discharge summary, history and physical, operative note, progress note physician, and summary of labor and delivery. I'm going to type in a progress note physician. The next thing I do is bring my cursor down into the body of the content and click once. This allows me to begin typing. What I want to show you is now how to use one of the global templates. If you type in a period, you'll see the menu of the global templates we have available today. Allergies, a dictation note, you can see them as they go down. I'd like to type my note in SOAP format. So I find dot SOAP, and if I double click on that, it inputs the template for me. You'll see the headers are in bold and the subheaders are not bold. You'll also notice there's underscores throughout the template. The F3 key in clinical notes functions like your tab key. So I'm going to begin filling out this template. Using the F3 key takes me down to my subjective assessment. Now if there are sections of this template that I don't want to use, the template is there as a guidance only. So I'm going to highlight and using either the delete key or the backspace key, get rid of the sections that I do not wish to chart in. I do want to pull in my patient's vital signs though and I can do that from a template as well. So yes, you can use a template within a template. So again if I type in a period and down at the bottom you'll see there's a dot vitals template. If I double click on that, that will bring in the vital signs for my patient. It always charts a complete last charted set of vital signs and then it also charts the minimum and the maximum values within the last 24 hours. Then I can finish typing in the rest of my note. So now that I'm finished I'm going to sign my note. Every time I sign a note it will always ask me do I want to view the newly created document now. I'm just simply going to say no. Now let's say that I'm seeing a chest pain patient again. So I go to my add button. I tell it that I'm going to do a progress note physician and I begin typing in my note. Dot soap. I'm going to use the soap template again. I'm going to fill in the note in similar fashion to what I did earlier. This time when I finished my note, I completed it thinking in general for 90% of my chest pain patients, what are the items that I typically document in a progress note? I left out the patient specific information like the vital signs that I typically pull in from the patient's record each time. So this is a typical note for me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this as one of my favorite templates. So I'm going to highlight my note, right click in my note, and down at the bottom say save as auto text. That brings up our manage auto text window where all I need to do is type in a short abbreviated title for my note. It can simply be CP for chest pain. And I'm going to say save and that is going to save my note and you can see in my auto text window, here are all the global templates. I know they're global and created through the system from this asterisk. Then you can see mine, which does not have a period in front of it because I chose to title it without a period, and it also doesn't have an asterisk. Also, please note that your favorite templates are only viewable to your login, so other physicians will not be able to see all of the favorite templates you create. So really name them something specific to you. 
So I'm going to and we're going to create a new note. Again, I'm going to name it Progress Note Physician. And down here, I'm simply going to type in a CP. You'll see my CP comes up. And when I double click on that, here is my note. So now all I need to do is go to the Vitals section, type in a .V, and add the Vitals Global Note, and pull in my patient's vital signs. And actually, my note is finished.